having trouble to create your own dragon? Well, today we are not going to train your dragon, but create them from your imagination. And remember, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Let's go, let's go. In place of doing a circle, we are going to do an oval shape, you know, like... Let's just put a little place here for a small eye, okay? A little dot. Okay, first things first, we are going to draw it based on the things that we enjoy it in those dragons. I want to make it with the muzzle going a little bit down and this one, if I was going to finish, it's going a little bit up, you know? So, I'm just going to pick a line from here and go down. And I really like that gigantic jaw that this thing got. In here, from here, you go down and then you go down. This is the upper lip of the dragon. This dragon right here is going to have a small upper part and it's going to have a gigantic down part. Why? Because it's going to... We are creating! There is no limits to our creation! Here close to the eye, behind the eye, right here, right here, don't, don't, don't make it too close, don't make it too far, you can make it, you can make it far away, just don't do it too close, okay, like here, make a line, and then you go down, and then you go up, and then you go down, and then you go bra. something that I really enjoy in those eyes is like this little part going up yeah that's what we are going to keep okay something that we're gonna do do you know that like animals got like those big teeth prey like yeah we're gonna make those big teeth that's yeah that's exactly how they sound Another teeth, just triangle shapes, okay? Just triangle. This line here, we're just going to use it to make the spikes. I'm going to raise it pretty smooth, smooth, smooth. Let's make the spikes. We're going to make the lower lip. Here, lip. And here, teeth. Of course, because we love teeth. We love those big fat tiffs to show power of the dragon. I really wanted to make a big horn going like brrr. But first of all I'm going to just fix this one.
going to use Lasso 2 right now. And remember, if you make a mistake on your creation, just go back. First of all, I'm going to change it to lighten and I'm going to change all those dark places into brighter places, okay? You just pick the places by using the lasso too. The place that the light can hit, the place that light cannot hit, and then the list keeps going on like here, here, here. Select it to get the oh my okay press F5 apply your transfer use transfer transfer helps you Important tip guys, when you are creating a dragon, you need to think in your head about a storytelling about him. Like right now, I'm thinking that my dragon is a senior dragon that lived for many years and he's so old that in his chin there is living creatures on the chin. Like, yes, coral protector, yes, that thing got like living things in his body. I'm 
want to make some dots here to give more texture. Remember to add some texture into your dragon if you're not going into the cartoon. I'm gonna tell again everything that I <laughs> everything that I said here in this step. We were removing the sketch lines. We were putting more light and putting. We are adding more light and shadows. We were adding more features into his design. We were also making a more strong storytelling. Number four. And also, we added a little bit of background features to show even more how this charger is. And I want to tell another important tip, guys, important tip. When I was in the beginning, when I was doing the circle for the head, the oval shape, I was not thinking it was going to be a water dragon, I was not thinking it was going to be a senior, I was not thinking it was going to be the protector of blah 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 ocean. I was just thinking, yeah, let's make this line right here, guys! That's what I was thinking, okay? So you don't need to put that gigantic amount of pressure in front of you, just like in the first time that you see the canvas. Right now, I'm going to use the mode Color Dodge on my brush. Make my brush big, big, and take it to zero hardness. And then I go like, press F5, and I go like, mm, is this minimal good? Yeah, it's good on 40%. And I'm going to pick yellow. This color right here, yellow. And I go like, mm, too strong. Then I go like, minimal, zero, yeah. And I go back and I go like, mm, I like it. Okay, right now I'm making my brush big, lowering my opacity just by pressing numbers in my keyboard, picking the color blue, making highlight, big highlight here, big, big highlight here, around the eye, because I want the eye to get the most attention! can be less colorful here, green. Yeah, thank you. You're calling much more attention than the eye. The eye needs to be the focal point. The eye is the focus. Now I'm going for multiply to add some, some dark layers, you know. Scale. Don't really think of a format for the scale. It's your imagination in the game. You can make it the way you feel like doing it. I'm just gonna remove all those small sketch lines. Okay, just going to add a small ring light here. 
Well, if this tutorial is helping you, why not leave a like, subscribe and comment for more because I know in this channel you can have all of that high quality free content, yeah! And don't forget to check out my Patreon and Gumroad if you want to find out even more perfect content, you know? You can also get into our Discord group if you click on the link of our Twitch lives and I just want to say thank you! Thank you for watching until the end, you're an awesome person! Remember, few people go on to the end, you are determined in your journey, you really wanna go and make it happen, seriously, I just, I just desire to you the best! that you hit your goals, you're gonna become a great artist. I believe in you, and you're an awesome champ. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye bye! Woo!